After winning the local derby against Warringa, Manly backed up to face a fast improving eastern suburbs of Wollara. The undefeated Marlins needed just five minutes to post the first try of the game thanks to Ryan Melrose. But East rolled their way to the line on the stroke of half time with Harry Bennett's try edging the Beasties ahead 11 points to 10. Manly regained the lead soon after the break with any doubt about the rap move dismissed by the referee. Cameron Pine spinning to a try and opening up a six point break. Some well-timed passing gave Geordie Reid, who can often be mistaken for the honey badger Nick Cummins, his first try. And Manly's perfect record ended with Phil Mather's try and Angus Sinclair's penalty goal with 10 to go. The final scoreline, 26-24 to Easts. Eastern Suburbs finding their rhythm with their fifth win in a row, while Manly's first loss of the season relegates them from the top of the table. West Harbour learnt an early lesson against Eastwood. You can't make mistakes at this level and not expect to pay for them. Michael McDougall swoops on the loose ball for the Woody's first try of the match. But the Pirates have shown all year they love playing attacking rugby. And just watch the pass to Sean Trawick from Henry Siavula. But the other side of playing attacking rugby is defence and Ben Batcher shows West haven't quite got that part of the game together just yet. The Woody's had this and another four tries for a 43-10 half-time lead. And the rest just gave the Woodies a chance to get their breath back before they raided the Pirates line again. Mick Snowden finishes this break for Eastwood's final try and a 55-24 win. Eastwood's attack simply too strong, running in eight tries to West Harbour's three. Fly half to a week, impressive in the losing side, scoring 16 of the Pirates' 24 points. Nothing, it seems, could stop Southern District's run. Not this bone-jarring tackle from Rory Walton and certainly not the paper-thin cover defence from Norths as Lester Salanoa gives Souths a 10-3 lead after winning the race to the line for the first try of the game, hands down. But all that dancing left the Rebels' head spinning just enough for Mitch Walton to breeze across and then through the line. The Norths are back in the game, 10-8. Two penalty goals and this critical try after half-time gave the Rebels a 21-8 lead as the defence again failed to stop Bracken Karodia Henry. And when Sam Latunapalu crashed over, the Rebels had their bonus point try. Some impressive form continues from Souths with a 22-point win over Norths, with the Shoreman now struggling with just two wins from their seven games. Parramatta's coach Glenn Christini claims the two Blues play the quickest game in the competition, and who would doubt him as his team leads Gordon 12-0 after 12 minutes. They lead 17-0 after 16 minutes, and Parramatta have their fourth try bonus point, thanks to Matt White's run to the line, before the end of the first half of the first half. And while Gordon Pegg a few points back, it's hard to kick for territory when a fullback like Masisi Tavola runs it back at you as he beats one, two, three, four attempted at tackles and offloads before the fifth to Ormstead, who floats this beauty to Essie Leota. Just wonderful rugby and a joy to watch, except if you're Gordon. Three tries to Leota in Parramatta's 20-point win over the Highlanders. Lucas Simpkin with a double for Gordon, a team simply outpaced on the day. And in other results, Warringa continue the misery for Randwick and University too good for Penrith. And so to the table after the results from Round 7. Manly surrender the lead and slip to fourth with their first loss of the year. Southern Districts top the leaderboard, Eastwood second and East holding third with University a point behind and Parramatta making up the top six. But the all-important club championship table, which will divide the competition in two after round 11, looks just about settled. Uni Eastwood, Easts, Manly, Norths and Southern Districts would make up the top division, the remaining six teams the second division.